Sultani Makenga. SJ Opse. Merci, commandant. Alexa Kuvimba. Merci. Merci. De Moule. Ok. Allez, yo, ma mère. Maman Lizala Kuvimba. Maman Lizala. Petit Menesang. Oh. Déjà, quand il y a un autre. Eh. Mena Lingata. Merci. Merci, courage, ma petite courage. Courage, courage. First voices of strangers speaking an unfamiliar language echoed from outside in the night. According to multiple survivors, it was followed by hard bangs on the doors and scored command for students inside to front doors of the dormitories open. When the learners, mostly teenagers, peeped through the windows, they saw men, a few apparently armed, sketched out. Something was ominous. The instant response was muffled alert among the students to mute animated banter and hide under under beds. There was a short tense suspense followed by an abrupt shattering of the glasses on the windows. A suspected explosive was lobbed inside but didn't immediately blast off. Godwin Mumbele, 18-year-old student, the incident happened after we had returned to our dormitories after evening preps. The rebels came and knocked the door and our school head boy asked them to identify themselves. They told us that they were our matron, but we remember that we have a patron for the boys' dormitory. We became suspicious. Our colleague peeped outside and saw someone with a gun. Our head prefect immediately told us to keep quiet. I remember seeing six attackers entering our dormitory. They had casual civilian attire and carried knives and machetes while one of them wore a uniform like that of the army and had a gun. After successfully hiding from them inside the dormitory, I had to smear my face with blood from my colleagues. When they returned to check on us, they thought I was dead and that is how I survived. Juliasi Isingoma, 20 years old, senior one student, the attackers tried hard to break the door of our dormitory such that they could enter and when they succeeded, they immediately started cutting students with pangers and stabbing others with sharp knives. Some of the assailants were busy recording what was taking place using cell phone cameras and I had to jump to another bed where I hid under the mattresses. When they started burning our mattresses, I suffocated and fell down. When the attackers had a bang, they were standing in the doors. They came back to check what it was. I quickly smeared my face, nose and ear with blood and lay as if I was dead. They thought I was dead and left. After about 10 minutes, I heard voices of three boys who had escaped and I called them and we ran away together. Shortly afterwards, I had an explosion in the dormitory. At first, the attackers tried to break the door of our dormitory and when it failed to open, they lobbed something inside through the window that looked like a grenade. Now I want to join the army that after studies so that I can hunt down rebels because my colleague students were brutally killed. How the baby saved her life. Mrs. Brenda Masika, breastfeeding mother, I usually go to bed early from where I wait for my husband to return from work and other errands. However, on Friday night, I stayed awake longer than usual as I waited for my husband. All of a sudden, I began hearing some people outside speaking an unfamiliar language. They started knocking on my house door violently. This was an ominous sign. I was scared because my intuition told me that awaited me outside. There is something strange and dangerous. 
as I was lying on my bed, I had a knock outside my house and I had students making noise. I thought perhaps students were striking. In a short while, the attackers forced their way into my house and went straight into my bedroom. They threatened me with death ordered me to hand my mobile phone handset and all the money in the house to them. I begged for mercy and told the, the two young men wielding rifles that I had no money in the house. It is at this moment that one of the attackers cocked a gun and took a shooting posture. Then a colleague of a silent probably looked for cash checked in the bed and found a one-year-old baby sleeping i told him that i was my hours there i told him that it was my breastfeeding baby he shook his head and said that i had survived since he cannot kill a mother one of them said that they were from a Democratic Republic of Congo and do not kill breastfeeding mothers. Your God has saved you today, he said. They then ordered me to vacate the house with my other children before they set it abreast. Thank you so much for watching.